Baduan Jin Qigong is one of the best known of many Qigong styles in the West. However, it is known under several English names here. And even more plentiful than the names are the interpretations of the individual movements. The following four-part training video therefore presents merely one interpretation of Baduan Jin Qigong by the name of Eight Pieces of Brocade. Where these exercises originally came from is not exactly clear. According to one legend, 12th century general Yu Fei had his soldiers do similar exercises to keep in shape for battle. As you will see, some movements still show martial art characteristics, but the purpose of Baduan Jin today is to improve health and well-being, rather than to prepare for battle. It should be mentioned that even if the term Qigong is used to refer to these exercises, these two words stand for something much larger, and the exercises are but a small part of an entire philosophy, which includes meditation, acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. This limitation of the terminology does not, however, reduce the positive effects that you will experience from just imitating the following movements because they even work without you knowing every little detail about medicinal functions and effects. And since it's all that convenient, let's get started. The posture shown here is for meditation, aligning and focus. You should step into it before and after each picture or movement, and before and after the whole set. This way you will be able to eventually let your body do the movements while your mind is focused on the flow of qi in your body. Find a posture that will allow you to stand comfortably for longer periods of time you should align your limbs in about the following way. While your feet stand next to each other, try to stretch your legs first and then let your knees give in just a little bit. Your pelvis should tilt forward, as it would if you had a very heavy dinosaur's tail. Relax your shoulders and raise your head slightly. Together with your tilted pelvis you should feel as if your whole spine is stretched a little from top to bottom. Finally, let your hands form the seal above the lower Dantian, the most important of the many chi centers of the body, about one and a half inch below your navel. While standing in this position, leave all your problems behind and make the moment a comforting one, one which you would like to come back to as soon as possible. There is a rule that says, where the absence of movement is greatest, there lies the seed for motion. And when motion is at a maximum, calm starts growing. This is the ever-changing cycle of yin and yang and you will find it at work everywhere in these exercises.
over the course of this training, you need to distinguish three stances, all of which you have already been introduced to. The closed stance refers to the position of the legs and feet that you already know from the in-between meditation. The shoulder stance was introduced during picture one. The name is simply derived from the fact that your feet stand apart at the distance of your own shoulders. The distance of the horse stance is about two times the width of your shoulders and thus twice the shoulder stance. But there is more to these postures than just the distance of your feet. The position of your feet in relation to your legs and your body is also very important. So let's take a closer look. You often hear in Qigong classes that your feet should be parallel to each other, but a foot has two obvious axes that could be aligned in a parallel way. An outer one from heel to little toe, and an inner one from heel to the big toe. It's quite obvious that choosing one or the other makes a big difference. So find out for yourself which of the two alignments gives you a more stable stand and then make this yours. The following sequences show both stances performed using the inner axes for alignment. 